you know what let's begin and Gemini we do have the Hierophant and we do have the Chariot Taurus Cancer energy you might be dealing with one of those energies um, but it, it is about successful commitment Hierophant we know it's about traditional marriage traditional commitment living together under the same roof and the Chariot is success it's overcoming duality um, it is finding um, coherence right and taking um, the connection to the next step actually the next stage four of wands even more commitment it's like a double commitment of some sort so so let's see what this is all about and we do have ace of cups an offer of love and commitment can be a new person we know ace of cups it is a new person and can be a new offer or um, really taking the connection to something else and the empress right Abundance, creativity, being the mother of their children, the father of their children, you having children with this person, and all that. And the three of pentacles, energy of partnership. I love this. Gemini, I don't know what energy I'm picking up here, but it's such a beautiful, beautiful energy. So let's see, bottom of the deck. For the overall energy, we do have two of wands. So we might be at crossroads right now in regards to a marriage um, that we need to release and maybe even going through. Yeah, the cards kind of wanting to come out. Maybe we are going through a divorce. We have the death and the justice. So probably I'm picking up a Gemini who's divorcing a very toxic commitment. But guess what? Keep up the hope. We do have the sun and we do have the strength, honestly. And you have, out of six um, energies, you do have five major arcana. So it's a hell of a transformation happening. It's a hell of a releasing happening. And I do love the sun right in the middle of it because it means hope is coming. It was meant for a reason. It is awakening and awareness. Um, it's part of a cycle that ends up beautifully for you, even if you don't see it on the spot. And with the strength card, it's like, oh my God, you're being courageous through all this, knowing that it serves a bigger purpose. Beautiful. A lot of energies for some of you, Gemini. I mean, you have Scorpio, you have Libra, Capricorn, and twice the Leo. So for some of you, maybe all too many people, uh, way, sorry, way too many people in this connection. Way too many people having something to say or having an influence of some sort in this connection. So Gemini, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Let's see the current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And let me see the possible outcome. Last week of March, but again, time can be fluid. And we know in tarot how time is really connected to energies. And bottom of the deck, the tower. Rebuild. We are rebuilding something over here. Absolutely. So let's see what this is all about. That was love while shuffling. We had a lot of ace of cups. We had energies of commitment. Living together, having a house together, home. So some serious things um, happened now gemini in the past on your side we do have the nine of cups this is the energy of wish fulfillment this is the energy of they were what you wanted um and we do have the seven of wands i feel that you had to fight to have them or to have your wish fulfillment to have your say for some of you in this commitment seven of wands is standing your ground defending your values maybe at some point you've been attacked and you had to really stay strong and to kind of obtain what you wanted or um, simply, you know, um, you know, be the person that you want to be. You had to stand up for yourself. And I feel at some point um, it became toxic because that's how we get the devil, right? Um, and you had to stay in control and you had to stay courageous and hopeful. And then a transformation happened, right? Like any other commitment where, where um, every day is a battlefield, right? And we wake up in the morning and we don't know exactly which um, which way to go, right? Um, and then something happens within us and I feel that this is what happened. Um, and when we know better, we do better, right? But this was the past, right? Where you had to be very vigilant about something. And um, yeah, 
and fighting the good fight. And probably you fought for this couple to happen or for this relationship to happen. And um, and then right now the universe is kind of saying, you know what, let's um, stay still. This is how I feel with the overall energy. Happiness is coming. The strength is about staying still, is about taming yourself. So just so you know that the universe is working behind the scenes, right? Now, Gemini, this is how I feel for this person. Um, past energies for them it's the seven of swords and the eight of swords and this is a tremendous energy of jealousy of doubt um, of being blindfolded or focused or negative about and maybe doubting that you are loyal to them we do have the seven of swords with the um, eight of swords helpless and hopeless and seeking the truth it's like somebody really doubting that you are loyal to them that you um you know walk the walk and talk the talk um they might have thought that you have somebody or you are cheating on them you are stealing from them or god knows what the seven of swords but again it's the energy of being in their mind uh focused obsessed this is being bound to that kind of energy and um, depression, anxiety, for some of you, you might have dealt with somebody who is not um, in their, um, you know, uh, most balanced um, state of mind. Um, and they paid the price. They paid the price. The Eight of Swords is a mental prison and, uh, and this is, you know, uh, this is what happened. Mutual energies between you and this person in the past. We do have the Four of Cups, a missed opportunity. Somebody turning their back on this couple, on this relationship. And with the Chariot, this is breaking free, moving on, uh, leaving everything on the table. It's an expression where I come from in my part of the world. Uh, where I come from, I live someplace else, but where I come from, which I uh, left everything on the table and uh, took off because it's the Chariot. This is a sudden... Uh, an abrupt movement you know like um, I'm done that's it and walked out the door and they turned their back or maybe this is what you did because it was at some point it was too much and we have so much pressure on this commitment we have people uh, involved in this commitment and um, like you know legal affairs legal things with the death card you know abrupt stuff to deal with quickly two of wands is the energy of crossroads so yeah we need it's the time is now to decide which way to go because at some point we have to make the choices that we need to make so um uh beautiful interesting i want to say now energies right now gemini i so love this and i love when people come from a place of love um unconditional love again we all make mistakes we are all different we are, we go through struggle and strife and co our coping mechanism are you know kind of different and on your side we do have the empress of course can be somebody really um being comforted by a mom by a significant person in your life and we also have the seven of cups confusion illusion daydreaming not knowing what to do having options not knowing if they are good or not and if we want to have one, whatever it is on the table. And the Empress kind of tells me that you still uh, care for this person. It's an energy of nurturing. It's an energy of comforting, of love. It's the energy of generosity and, um, you know, creativity in regards to this. But of course, the universe is kind of saying, yeah, but we are also in need to make some choices and we might still be attached to this person and wanting to provide for them, wanting to care for them. Um, love them in, a, in the way that only you can love them and um, and this is what happens right now now the person you are dealing with might be a Scorpio we do have the death card again so they are trying to release this um, they are trying to transform through this uh, we do have eight of wands it is an energy maybe they took off eight of wands is the energy of traveling and walking away is an energy of um, quick shift in movement and we do have the death again, like I was saying, can be a Scorpio trying to be successful at releasing, letting go, closing a chapter, becoming more positive, transforming in the process. Um, it's so in their way, in their way, 
that is a beautiful energy because they go from eight of swords this is the mental prison this is the pain of the mind as i call it you know because this is when the the mind is the enemy right and they go to eight of wands which is this energy of being enthusiastic uh, opening up to possibilities uh, getting the energy flowing uh, focusing on success and growth is like knowing that they were kind of stuck in a rut and feeling the need to transform through this experience it's quite actually the way it feels it's quite fundamentally transforming for this person i don't know it feels like they are taking their life back but i i don't feel 100 percent. i only feel that within themselves they go from this energy of maybe you know somebody who is extremely jealous and any gesture might be seen as um you know as flirt as um inconsistency as not loving them but loving somebody else more you know seeing you as in need of whatever and they go from this to eight of wands so again it's a very transformative energy and mutual energy is between you and this person i do love the cupid's arrows again it shows up twice here eight of wands eight of wands and the ace of wands longing both longing for a new beginning both longing for for success and growth um this is a deep understanding that what's going on it's uh you know for the greatest good so that we can have this ace of wands a new vitality um you know when we've been in a connection for a long time and 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 you know we go through the pain and then we finally realize well actually that is life to it you know and this is how it feels can be with each other can be simply the universe saying yeah both of you you feel this um enthusiastic new beginning can be with each other again or can be separately um but it's the the this realization somehow that you know uh it feels good it finally fe feels good you know this is how it feels maybe a little bit more painful to them but there is a sense of there is a freeing sense of, sense of um you know of work that is happening within them and within you so now moving forward gemini peace of mind we love this six of swords five of pentacles walking away from rejection having some peace of mind in regards to this understanding more changing circumstances um some of you really moving away from this person and um, realizing getting some perspective on this you know and also making peace with the idea that um you know we are going through changes right now that's the five of uh, pentacles feeling alone feeling rejected excluded from this but at the end of the day healing begins and we are healing over here gemini yes it has phases of confusion of anger uh, it's part of the the healing cycle uh blame you know we uh, need to blame the other person so that we feel better but it's just distancing and perspective and then healing so um and we are most certainly healing over here this is how it feels okay i love this now this person gemini they do have an offer for you three of cups uh, this is reconciliation but they are very patient about it waiting for the right time to reconcile i don't know if they, um, they are really uh, taking the time to transform and create a better version of themselves can very well be it is a strong indication of of breaking free from their own prison and waiting um you know because seven of pentacles is the harvest you know the time has to be right um the fruits have to be ri ripe right so they are waiting on this and they want to share the love they have emotions i was wondering you know every time when we don't see cups uh, in my reading it's like well what's the point you know um but yeah they do have and they do want to share the love with you the love that they have and mutual energies <laughs> we do have the seven of wands we go back to the beginning uh gemini with the seven of wands seven of wands and ace of pentacles again a sense of an offer on the table ace of wands right now ace of pentacles as we move towards the end of march um but 
that's what we know, right? We want the, we want them back. Gemini, they want you back. Um, but then that is this energy of fighting yourself um, and beating yourself up at the idea of, am I going to go th through the same cycle? Right? That's the Seven of Wands. Will I have to choose my battles again? Will I have to stand my ground? And, um, you know, it, it feels like wanting back and wanting a second chance, and but then we don't. But then we want again uh, because it was passion, but then we don't. Because if we have to fight again, if we have to stand our ground again, put boundaries and limits and this and that, you know, what's the point? And then we go back, yeah, but I want to build something. They might be the one. Um, so kind of like here we go again, um, but an offer is on the table nonetheless. Probably the universe, if we go back, you know, we every, uh, every time we get the chance, we go back to the overall energy. This might be the universe reminding you that was an ending we are going through. Maybe court decisions um, and stuff. Dealing with whatever was toxic in the hope to get your happiness back with the sun. And being on your best behavior. For some of you this is advice. Um, because it's, you know, major arcana all the way. Um, but if your question was and we're gonna ask for some guidance uh, soon if your question was do they love me well that is a three of cups they want reconciliation but in the midst of it somebody is changing their skin shedding some skin right now um so let us um, have some guidance let's ask for some guidance what are we supposed to do with this um soulmate of yours we do have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So what else, universe? We know Gemini loves his or her person. We do have children. Your love life is being affected by children. So you probably have a family with them. And that is still love. This is not over. We have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So don't despair. This is what I'm hearing, right? And we have attraction. Oh yeah, they are still attracted to you. Well, it says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And I love the bottom of the deck. Love yourself first. We love this. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. I just love this. And let's have one one energy of surrender and then we say goodbye here and this is yours and we have surrender to play you have attraction and play beautiful take a break from overthinking a goal do something fun play is the time of recreation and rejuvenation you forgot to look, um, cultivate your inner child. Um, Gemini, this is what I'm hearing. Maybe you are taking things way too seriously. And actually we need to, um, you know, loosen up a bit. What do you think? So Gemini, this is all that I have for you guys. Um, please let me know what you think, right? Do not forget to wash your hands, please, more often during the day. Well, what else? Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, of course, and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.